Hi all, welcome to Santa Kilan. Thank you for watching our video. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Particular kind of a system that is nothing but known as the IoT, known as Internet of Things. Because without the knowledge of Python, uh, it is not possible. So generally in programming language, we have a different sort of programming language like Python, C, C++, Perl and Java. And these particular languages are known as the high level language and machine language and assembly language comes under the basic programming language known as the low level languages. Here the machine languages are nothing but the zeros and ones. Anyway, whatever the language is written in high level, it automatically gets converted into the machine language. Then only the execution is being happened over there. So similarly, what is this assembly language? I don't know how many of them has uh, gone through this particular microprocessor or microcontroller lab during your college days. So within that, whenever you work in H085 or H051, within that you will be having some sort of uh, code or some sort of random words over there. So that particular each and every words will be a meaningless word only. But whenever we go for that particular code of method only, we will be able to provide some kind of application, especially in that 8085 processor or 8051 controller. So that particular language is known as the assembly language. Now most of the regulations has been changed. And nowadays all the student has started to, to learn with the uh, arm itself. Okay, so based on that only that uh, it is an oldest version of the language for microcontroller as well as microprocessor. So in the programming, there are two types, one is interpreter and another one is compiler. Okay, so this interpreter or the compiler, it is the main function of the programming. So whenever we go for the compiler, the compiler will be having the source code then uh, in between the compilation will be happening whether any kind of error is there or not then uh, object code so once after compiling the particular uh, source code whatever the user has been provided it will be converted into into the object code and from there the output will be executed finally we will be able to see the output so in between the compiler we have many of the options so within that compiler whenever you write a set of code if you are running that entire code therefore it will be able to display all the warnings and uh, errors of your code at the same time including every lines but if you go for an interpreter it is completely different like uh, each and every line it will be displaying as the error so once you rectify that particular kind of line only you will be able to uh, proceed towards the next line Okay, so the interpreter block diagram will be in this way, source code, interpreter and output. The name uh, interpreter itself, uh, you might have got some idea, like it is interrupting and this particular interpreter, it will be searching each and every line and if it finds any of the error over there, that particular error will be thrown out and the, after rectifying that line error, then only you will be able to proceed. So that is the main difference between compiler as well as interpreter. And there are some messages that uh, some of them was not able to join. Is everyone there? Is everyone there online? And also I don't see any of the waiting. So whatever we have seen uh, based on that particular theoretical only known as programming language. So Guido Van Rosam, he is the person who has invented this particular Python at National Research Institute for Mathematics and Computer Science in Netherlands. So why everyone is focusing on Python? Initially, all the programmings or all the kind of embedded systems you are working with uh, C or C++ or they can also be said as embedded C. Okay, so that particular embedded C now it has been converted into the 
embedded python so why what is the reason the reason is nothing but the python has vast applications while compared to the c and c++ is that correct or wrong can anyone say not everyone only those who are aware of the program then why those programs are not possible to do in uh, c or c++ or java is there any difficulties or any package problem in that python has more libraries so that is one sort of answer and definitely uh, it has more libraries only hmm. more packages and uh, my answer is no not only python even if you are working in c also it is possible because the particular c structure we will be able to write n number of packages over there even the image processing iot everything can be done with the help of uh, c or c++ well compared to the python even if we just want to say regarding towards this python software itself it has been developed only with the help of some object oriented programming okay so it cannot be said that uh, the python only is able to focus in this c cannot be c or c++ is not focusable so whenever if you go for that focusable point both are equal only the only thing is nothing but the users like we okay or uh, not like you actually it can be said as ourselves so we like employees or what who started to work in this got lazy to study more in the c or c++ because once if you are starting with c or c++ or java we have to create our own header files or uh, most of the header files won't be available yeah exactly more easy than uh, c programming because c has a lot of syntax whatever that particular 10 lines of code if you see in the python for that it require amount of 50 to 60 lines in c or c++ so that is a major change and at the same time it is very interactive for the user to find out each and every lines or each and every errors to work with multiple fields like uh, signal processing or image processing then uh, communication so this kind of uh, each and every data can be done as easy as possible so data processing can be done mostly those who are uh, aware of this particular data science so therefore they can use this uh, python uh, whenever if we go for the data processing over to your system we will be able to see it as uh, we will be able to call the excel sheet or we can apply the file handling system towards the uh, data so from that excel sheet we can select the number of rows and columns which we require so we are focusing only that particular rows and columns as a data so with the help of some python packages like uh, pandas uh, we can also plot uh, similar to like excel sheet uh, with the help of matplotlib so that and all known as the data processing over here just because of ml and uh, ml an easy to learn system it becomes very popular in a short span of time now actually for ml previously there was uh, one sort of soft software known as r programming so that was also quite famous while well, compared to the python Even our program also was quite famous for machine learning or artificial intelligence. So once the Python has started, then only everyone has switched uh, from our programming as well as towards the Python. C and C++ are complex. Even Python also will play a complex uh, place. Just when we start with some of the programming only. then we can go with the signal processing so signal processing can be said as audio signal 
or a video signal video signal image signal so this kind of multiple uh, signal processing can be done with the help of the python then comes with uh, pi game to create some of the 2d or 3d games it is possible to work with uh, pi game maya python to use it for a simulation oriented purpose or animation so those kind of things can be applied for maya python uh, if anyone is aware of this offline robotics there is a software known as robodk within that particular uh, robodk software they are using python to program that particular robotic simulation so in meantime you can check that particular software which one is better r or python i have not worked in r programming till now i have worked only in python so i am not answerable for that particular question once if i start to work with r programming only i will come to know so then music software even all the audio files can be recorded and at the same time it is also possible to uh, read the uh, recorded files and at the same time we can also just uh, combine this text to speech conversion and at the same time you can also record that particular audio simultaneously so this kind of music softwares it will be able to implement within the python with some sort of the packages like uh, pi audio and this kind of uh, functions only it is completely different from other kind of softwares you can take numerous computation towards any data set mm, definitely yeah from this uh, i am getting i am also learning something and here i have got that message r only is related to the statistics i am not aware of that okay So let me try to find out what is R programming and how to work it. And I hope in R programming it is not possible to work uh, with image processing and all. I hope so. I am not sure with it. Then the other area is nothing but website development of framework. And within this uh, development of framework, uh, we will be creating some web designs as an attractive. Thus, particular package or that software we will be calling it as D Django. where it runs only based on the python platform